it's thursday today can't believe how quickly the weeks are going they are just absolutely flying by um i haven't vlogged much this week because monday was super busy i was helping my mum move into her new studio her new facial studio opens very soon which i'm so excited about um so i was helping her set the room up get some bits organized she got the key so we were moving in and i've basically just been working at home the last few days tuesday it was manic i had so much on my to-do list was never ending and then yesterday i had a bit more of a chilled day at home i haven't actually left the house since monday um so i'm very excited to leave the house today and get some fresh air and socialize i am heading into london shortly to go and meet georgia which i'm so looking forward to i feel like we haven't actually had a proper catch-up yet this year i've seen her and we've like had lunch and like i've seen her at events but we haven't actually sat down and actually had a big catch-up so that is what we're going to do today we're going to go to the ned for some lunch and we're also going to shoot which i haven't done for such a long time I can't remember the last time I did a street style shoot at all, actually. The last one I probably did was for a client and the ones that I've done this year are all client shoots, which is just content creation for um, some of my clients. I haven't actually shot anything street style properly at all this year. So I'm really looking forward to it. I love street style. It was kind of like my first ever thing that I did in terms of shooting and Instagram. I used to go and shoot street style with Jack and at the weekends we would go to our local towns or sometimes we'd drive to Greenwich and shoot outfit photos and I would take loads of outfits and change. Then I used to go to London a lot and take a whole suitcase of about six outfits and shoot a whole week's worth of content in one day. And that was chaotic. I did that for a good few years. Shooting in the streets, getting changed in the streets, it was an absolute task but I loved it and it was so much fun. And then I guess from lockdown, I kind of started shooting at home and I actually did start shooting street style with my mum, which I do still do. And I actually really want to get back into because I just haven't done it much this year. So anyway, that was a ramble. I'm going to be leaving in about 10 minutes to go to the station. I just like to get there so early. My train isn't for an hour, but I like to get there early, get my parking, I know I'm there, I'm not going to miss the train because <laughs> there's only two trains an hour so I can't miss it. And my outfit of the day, so I actually, one second, let me get my bag. So I actually am wearing like a bit of a mismatched outfit right now because we're going to shoot some content and it's also really drizzly and rainy and just a horrible day. So I couldn't really get away with just wearing a jacket. I kind of needed a coat. So the coat isn't really the outfit. Um, the outfit is this. This is the outfit I'm wearing. Um, this khaki long sleeve top from Mango that I cannot stop wearing. I am absolutely obsessed with this top. I just look how gorgeous it is. I love it. And then these trousers are my, honestly, my go-to trousers. I love them so much. I wear them all the time. And I think it's the colour. These are from Erin, which is a gorgeous brand. They are like a wool blend. They are so soft. Super long, wide leg suit trousers. And then I've also got my knee-high boots on under here. My new cream ones. And then I've got my boxy boucle jacket from Zara. And Celine belt. And then I am actually going to bring my Lemian Designs bag, which is a bit of a dupe, a bit of a copy. Um, I know lots of people don't like that, but I have had this bag for so long. And I actually got this one and another one in nude for my holidays because they're so easy to pack. And they're the perfect size for just like a holiday bag. But I wanted to bring a little handbag with me that I could fit in my tote and this one is just super easy to bring so i'm going to be styling this with this outfit which i am so in love with and then i've also got another outfit which i'm going to bring with me um i've wanted to shoot this for ages because it's something that i tend to wear a lot in spring spring and autumn because it's still quite warm but it's quite floaty and like pretty um so i've got this black I probably will show you this at some point today, but I thought I would show you it now anyway. 
I've just ironed this and look how creased it is. Why did I fold it up? That's so annoying. That is the worst thing about slip skirts. They do get so creased. Hmm, now I don't know whether I should bring this because is it just gonna get more creased in my bag? Maybe I'll wear this tomorrow. Okay, scrap that plan. I'm gonna shoot this outfit tomorrow when I see my mum and oh, that means I need to quickly plan another outfit. Maybe I'll just do a knitted dress. Yeah, knitted dress, knee high boots. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking out loud. Right, let me go and grab a dress. <laughs> okay, quick change of plan. I'm actually gonna shoot this dress, which is my end of the stories knitted one that I absolutely love. But I'm gonna style it a bit different and do it with my cream boots that I'm wearing. Knee high boots and like cream accessories as opposed to black, because I usually style this with black. So I think that will look gorgeous and just a really nice easy everyday dress that i constantly throw on um but i want to wear that black coat because otherwise i just feel like i'm going to be cold and when i get changed i kind of need to have the coat over my dress to go home because otherwise i will be freezing i will probably see you at some point along my journey right i've just got to the station it's raining and it's so annoying so i couldn't find my umbrella anywhere um i've got about 15 minutes until my train so i'm not going to get out the car just yet but i had to park right at the end of the car park so um oh, really annoying i'm gonna get wet also when i was driving here i went the complete wrong way I don't know why i think it was because i was focusing on my shoes because i have never driven in these boots before and it's really weird like my pedals feel really strange in these boots and also a warning light has come up on my car um, and i googled it and it says like go immediately to the workshop and i'm like oh um, and i asked jack about it and he was like it should be fine and i was like well do i need to go to the workshop and he was like i'll see if it goes away but it hasn't and it's something to do with this side of the car i think i don't think it's to do with the other side it says the right hand side something to do with like the airbag so i guess it's like a safety thing so that's great as well <laughs> um so i'm gonna have to do that at some point yeah i just can't wait to get there now it's raining i want to get on the train and i'm gonna listen to a new diary of a ceo podcast i usually love watching them because i like seeing the emotion on their face um, but he's just released one with Lucy Hale and it sounds really good. So I think I'm going to listen to that on the train and have a lovely lunch. And I'm really looking forward to it. I am so disappointed in this weather. It is miserable, but next week is meant to be really nice, which is good because I've got a couple of days in London next week. So that's good. So yeah, also they've introduced this new parking system here. Um, usually I have to book it the day before and pay for it the day before because you can't just do it on the day. If you want to do it on the day, you have to go to the ticket machine, print out a parking ticket and then come back to the car. But I'm not joking, it's like a seven minute walk down there. It's so far away. And when you're wearing heels, go like there and back and there. It's just so long. Um, sometimes I actually pull in there, get a ticket and then drive up here. Such first world problems. But anyway, they've introduced a new parking thing I saw last time. It's a barcode. So I'm going to try and scan that and see if that actually helps because once I did it online and it clearly didn't work because I got a ticket, which is great. Um, so yeah, sorry at the beginning of this vlog has been a bit moany. I feel like I'm just in one of those moods where everything's really irritating me. I think I'm in like PMS phase where things are really irritating me. I'm really tired. I'm so exhausted. I can't bother to do anything but I also really want to go out and socialise. So anyway, I'm going to make my way to the train. I've got 13 minutes to get on the train. So let's go. Oh, uh, out. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday today. I've woken up in a much better mood. I had a really good sleep last night. I woke up at six o'clock before my alarm and I was up talking to Nadia at half six, so I feel very good. Um, I've had a shower this morning and washed my hair. I actually did a hair mask this morning um, and I've just blow dried it and left it pretty much. Um, I also trimmed my hair a little bit, which I do tend to do every few weeks just to get like a dusting. I mean, I literally trim probably like this much off the ends. Um, I just bring it all to the front when it's wet and just 
dust a little bit off i've always done that like probably since i was about 15 maybe even younger um and yeah just to make it feel a little bit fresh and healthy i've popped a little bit of makeup on and i feel very dehydrated this morning my skin was so dry my mouth feels so dry so i need to fill up my water bottle make sure i drink a lot of water today so today is pretty much an at-home day but i thought i would vlog anyway because i know you guys quite like realistic day in the life vlogs i've got some parcels to show you i've got washing to hang up in a minute i'm gonna do my tan as well because i'm feeling a little bit pale and i think that will make me feel a bit better so i'm gonna do a layer of tan this morning and then wash it off later today and then later on tonight jack's brother is actually coming over we're gonna go to the pub and have a couple of drinks in town and then get some takeaway pizzas like we did in the last vlog because we loved it so much it was really enjoyable and just really cozy and chilled so we said let's do it this weekend but invite ben so yeah that is pretty much my plans for the day i'm still in my pajamas i'm wearing these little soft um pajamas it's like a long sleeve top and shorts from primark i just sometimes love a really cozy soft like flannelly set from primark because they're so inexpensive and they're just really easy to chuck on so i'm gonna hang up this washing i'm gonna do my layer of tan and then pop just like a tracksuit or something on for the day and get cracking with my jobs i've written my to-do list and i'm all ready to go okay right i put the washing away i'm gonna do my tan <laughs> i'm gonna do my tan i'm gonna do the saint tropez luxe whipped cream mousse i know i mentioned this in the last vlog but i thought i would do it again and do it in the day and wash it off later before we go to the pub um just to show you what i actually think of it because i feel like I loved the colour. I honestly think the colour has faded so well. I mean, if you remember the clip from the last vlog, it... Why does my elbow look like that? Isn't it weird how you don't ever really see your elbow? Um, anyway, yeah, so the colour has faded so well. It hasn't gone dry or flaky. I have moisturised my skin pretty much twice a day, every day. And, oh my god, that bird is so cute. Oh, tiny. Um... Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the colour has faded really, really nicely. And although it does still look a little bit bronzed, I just want to something, a little bit of something. So I'm going to go over the top. I'm not going to worry about like retaking it off. I have already exfoliated. I do tend to exfoliate probably like two, three times a week because I moisturise a lot. Sorry, I can literally see about six birds in the tree. I can't believe it. They are so cute. Um, but they're so sweet. They're tiny. They've got little blue heads and yellow tummies. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna go get my mitt. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted today. I'm gonna go get my tanning mitt and get on with this. I feel like I can't really show you me applying the tan because I do it with no clothes on and that's not suitable for YouTube. But I'll do um, one arm and then I'll show you the other arm or I'll do one leg and show you the other leg just so you can see straight away the difference. Okay, so this is me trying to show you a before and after um i also i literally shaved my legs yesterday and they're already growing back but anyway this is my leg before this is after you can already see such a huge difference also if anyone's wondering i'm not putting my legs on the white sheets so please do not worry <laughs> um they're not touching but yeah this is before and after so already it's such a gorgeous color i just love it i don't know what it is but i just find it's such a gorgeous natural tan and i'm really happy with it i also really love the smell people were saying they don't like the smell but i love it i think it smells really nice just done a bit of work it's nearly 11 o'clock now time just flies when you're sat on your laptop um but i'm going to show you some new in pr bits that i've received this week so i literally just had this arrive from monty pr this is the necessaire body wash refill and this is new um i'm very excited about this because i love the necessaire body wash so you can obviously keep your bottle and refill it, which is incredible. How incredible is that? Oh my goodness. I love that. Fragrance free, just a super good 
bougie body wash. Then I also have the body bar, which I've never heard of before. I'm guessing this is pretty much like a bar of soap, but it's necessary. Packaged up lovely and neatly. I want to see what this looks like. Oh my god, how chic is that with the necessary logo? Oh my god, love that so much. Thank you so much, necessary. I think I'm actually going to save this and the body wash for when we move. We have still got a good couple of months until we move, but I've started to kind of collect a few little bits that will be perfect for the bathrooms, the kitchen, things like that. So these are going to go into my new house pile another thing that i got sent this week which i think will be perfect for the new house is this room diffuser and miller and harris have just launched a new kind of like home range of fragrance they've got a huge mix of different scented room diffusers they all come in different colored bottles i chose santal and oh my god the color of this bottle and the notes just sounded so me so oh god this is on tight oh oh that smells so good oh my god and just how stunning is this bottle it's like a dusky rose oh love it so this is going to be saved for the new house as well that'll go somewhere lovely then i got sent some very exciting beauty from purple pr eve lom have sent me a ton of products to try which i am so excited about because eve lom is a brand that i hear so much about so i've got lots of products in here i've got a foaming cream cleanser a moisture cream i think this is going to be a really good night moisturizer because i don't actually currently have one so this is going to be brilliant i've got a radiance repair retinol serum the rescue mask i'm really looking forward to using this honey infused clay mask deeply cleanses and draws out impurities without drying for a refined look and feel this sounds gorgeous i'm gonna, definitely gonna be using that and then I also have a cream cleanser, which is really good for taking off your makeup. So that is so handy. I love a um, like a cream cleanser to take my makeup off. Very excited to try all of those. Thank you so much to Pebble PR for sending those over. And then I've got some bits from Fourth and Reckless that I picked out. Their stuff at the minute is just amazing. They've got these gorgeous kind of silk effect satin sets. And oh, I love them. So... Firstly, I picked out this one, which is shirt and trousers, a really, really gorgeous kind of like blush nude background with these white squiggly patterns on. I got all of this in a size six, by the way. Oh my God, this is incredible. I feel like I'm going to wear this so much in the spring, summer. On holiday, you can wear the shirt and trousers separate, wear them together with heels or trainers. The trousers also, they're not like classic satin ones where they have the waistband they've actually got a zip and a belt which i really like so they feel a bit more like proper trousers i do think i need to take these up because um they are a little bit too long for me but that'll be a job for another day and then i also picked these leather trousers which you guys know i love rosie huntington whiteley and i saw she had a pair of leather trousers in this color and i actually used to have a couple of pairs from zara recently i've been really wanting a pair to style especially for spring summer just as something a bit different to a darker color these are kind of like a straight leg probably a bit too long for me just because my legs are so short um they probably would be fine with heels but i might take them up a little bit just so that i can wear them with flats and get the most wear out of them but they are buttery soft. They've got a button, pockets. I got these in a size six. I am in love with these. They literally feel amazing. They've got a seam down the front, which I really love. I think that's such a nice detail. And then I also got another set, which I wore last night. So I'll just grab it. My battery's flashing, so I'm trying to be quick. Um, this is probably my favorite one. I put this on last night when I got home from London. It kind of gives me totem vibes. It's a creamy... A creamy neutral background with this kind of brownie burgundy stripe detail all across the shirt and then also the trousers as well and oh my god i love this so much this with heels in the summer on holiday with like a little bit tucked in a little bit out oh love it so much i am so desperate for a holiday me and georgia have been talking about booking a trip um for kind of end of april beginning of may just before we start packing up to move 
and I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. We need to get it booked. So it's all in the diary and I just want some sun on my skin and to shoot some summery outfits for you guys like pre-summer. Um, so yeah, very excited about that. But that is just a few new bits that have come in this week. Right, it's a bit later on now. I've just finished um, cleaning. I have literally just quickly blitzed the whole house. It was all pretty clean and tidy anyway. I just had to go over all the surfaces and hoover, just put some bits away so it didn't take me long. And I've actually decided that I'm gonna have a bit of a restyle this afternoon. I've got a painting that I would like to zhuzh and make a bit nicer. I feel like since we first moved in here, my style has really refined. And I mean, this background alone just makes me so happy. And I was just sat here looking at the room and I was thinking, I am so happy with how this apartment has come together. It's exactly what I imagined. Everything is to a T what was on my vision board and my Pinterest boards and everything before we moved in last year. And I just love it. But I'm gonna have a bit of a restyling session and I thought we could do it together. And this could be like spring inspo or kind of like spring home restyling, just some tips basically to finish off this vlog quite nicely. So this is the canvas that I would like to update a little bit. It's so basic. This is the first canvas I ever did. Um, I did this at my old house and I had it in my office and I remember at the time feeling like this canvas was absolutely huge. It's so funny because this canvas is absolutely huge and this one is tiny, but at the time it felt huge and I remember being so proud of it. I did the poly filler and I loved it. I mean, it's not my favorite now. It's a little bit too uniform and too textured. I do feel like I need to update it a bit. So I think I'm gonna do that today. I've got some filler, I've got some paint in the cupboard. Let's see what we can do. update on the painting i have done so far one layer of pointing which is number 2003 and i've also just sponged on a little bit of oxford stone that one just to give a little bit more dimension um and i'm gonna go in with a couple more shades i've also got um stony ground and mouse's back is just under there leaning this on the side um so yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more depth. I'm going to keep it quite neutral because I don't want it to be super dark. I also didn't want it to be too light. So I'm kind of just playing around. So let's go in for the next phase. Okay, so I had a bit of a change of plan and I actually ended up going in with the... Uh, which one was it? This one, Mouse's Back. Um, the darkest colour, I went all over with it and I've kind of sponged it. I always use like a sponge, just to sponge it on and blend it in a bit nicer. So we've got some nice depth, some nice texture and I really love it. So I'm gonna let this dry. I need to also paint the edges, which I'm thinking of doing really dark. So I'm gonna layer on a few coats of the mouse's back or even mix that with a little bit of black just to make it super dark, um, almost like this. So it really stands out. And this painting actually lives up here. So this is in our hallway. Um, I don't love this hallway section. I find it really annoying. I think if we were actually gonna stay here for longer, I would probably try and find a good sideboard with like some stools underneath or something. But for now, it's fine. Um, I used to have my desk here, but it was just really impractical because I need to use my desk. And yeah, it doesn't matter for now, but if we were staying here, I would definitely get a side table, the artwork, put the lamp on it, some books, and like style it a bit nicer. But for now, it is fine, and we are, as I said, we are moving soon, so I don't really wanna be buying furniture for the apartment when I don't really need to. I also just ironed the bed sheets and made up the bed for Ben, who is staying tonight. I've kind of tried to make the office look as minimal as possible, but I have still got a bunch of clothes that I need to, um, they're all uploaded onto Vintage, so hopefully I get those sold in the next couple of weeks, and I've decided that if they don't, I'm just gonna go through them, see if my mum or my brother or his girlfriend want anything, and then the rest of it I will just take to a charity shop, because I just, this bag is just really getting on my nerves, and I just want to get rid of it, so that's my plan with that. 
um i always get questions on our bedding and this sofa bed i honestly cannot recommend this sofa bed enough it's from ikea i think it's called the Gronlid, and it is so comfortable to sleep on and to sit on. It's kind of like a cream canvasy material, so you can clean it. You can put these in the washing machine as well, which is really good. I'm probably going to have this sofa bed in my office in the new house as well, just so we've got an additional um, double bed, which is always handy. It's a really, really nice mattress, but I just dress it with a mattress topper for extra comfort, a sheet, and then this duvet is from Amazon, and the duvet covers are from Bedfolk. Um, same with the back linen covers as well. Everything is from Bedfolk. This um, blanket is from H&M Home, and then my cushions are from Burford Garden Company. I bought these in store when we are in the Cotswolds last spring. Um, and this is kind of what got me back into interiors and adding like richer depths and kind of just being a bit more experimental with our interior style rather than just having everything cream and beige. And I absolutely love them. I went off them for a bit, but oh my God, they fit this space so perfectly. So yeah, this bed is all done and dusted. I've got the lamps on in here, it's looking lovely. Obviously the wall is looking very bare because I don't have the canvas up here anymore, but that is the weekend's job. I think I'd like to tie in colors that are similar to this. So really bring out the greens and the browns and just do something fun. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I've just been looking for a podcast to listen to while I finish off my cleaning. And I came across this one. It's Angie Martinez in Real Life Podcast. And it's with Kim. And as you can see, I'm halfway through. Oh my God, it's so good. Like, she talks really rawly and just really openly about her life. And I just love her. I don't know what it is. I just think she has dealt with so many things. And she's so famous. And I just love her outlook on life. It's just fabulous. Um, but anyway, thought I'd mention that. I thought I'd show you my canvas. The sun has come out and it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I thought I've just propped it up on my chair so that the edges can dry because I've now painted the edges. I don't know if you can even see in this light. There we go. Um, but yeah, I've kind of gone for a bit of an ombre vibe. Some bits are dark, some bits are lighter. I've just gone with the flow pretty much. You can see it a bit better in the shade there. Um, but yeah, I love it. Okay, I'm all ready for the pub. They are five minutes away. The outfit is navy knit from Zara Mann, navy bomber from Sophia Paul, Everlane jeans and Chloe Lauren trainers. Super simple, jeans and a jumper, nice and easy. Um, this is like a fail safe outfit for me. I would wear this like every day. So yeah, I'm gonna, my phone is only on 15%, but that is fine. Don't need my phone. I'm gonna go and head downstairs and jump in the car and have some drinks.